So what is up guys? Nick here helping you to master your technology and welcome to my iPhone 12 Pro two months later. Now in this episode, I'm going to share with you what I've learned about this phone after using it for two months and if it's still something you might want to consider. Now we're talking about a 6.1 inch Super Retina XDR display that gets very bright here. We can go all the way up to over a thousand nits, 800 uh, usable though, kind of. So you can see right there, no 3D touch anymore. We are working with you know that haptic press, but we do have a triple 12 megapixel camera on the rear and we do get the LiDAR sensor here as well, six gigs of RAM in here and a crazy fast A14 five nanometer CPU. This phone also does house a pretty large battery, 2815 for an iPhone that's pretty acceptable. It will get throughout the day just fine. Now at first I really, really liked these squared sides, but I've been picking up some of the older iPhone 11s lately and realizing they might've been more comfortable. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying it looks better. I think the square side is industrial. I think it actually looks better, but I think the iPhone 11 Pro might've felt a little bit more comfortable to hold, but I'm just saying there are pros and cons of the square sides, but overall, really beautiful look on the whole. It's really quite a beautiful looking phone. It kind of reminds you of the iPhone 5 days, the SE days, really good looking here. And what I really liked is this back material here. It just doesn't really show any fingerprints. It stays pretty clean, but I will state that the camera housing right here definitely can show up a little bit of dirt and stuff in there, and it's a little bit hard to keep that clean. In addition, the sides of the 12 Pro, the stainless steel, not shown too much here on the darker Pacific blue color, does show quite a bit of smudges and stuff, so not a major fan of that, but I will say that it definitely feels nice. If you want a cleaner looking phone, you might want to go with the regular iPhone 12. But yeah, the overall body, very durable, very rock solid. All right guys, so let's talk a little bit more about display. 460 PPI on here. And uh, let's go ahead and just take it over to Wikipedia. Take a look at the text. Very sharp on this phone. And actually, you know, at these smaller screen sizes, 6.1 inches, not a small, small screen, but you really can't make this out. Like if I gave you even sharper display to look at, you probably wouldn't even see that much of a difference. So extremely sharp. And the nice thing is that it's not in a 1080p mode. It's straight up in the highest resolution it can be at right from the start at 2532 by 1170. It comes like that right out of the box here for the 12 Pro. So I do like that it's on the sharpest mode, although you do have to settle a little bit for the 60 Hertz, which I don't think is a major problem because Apple devices do seem to run pretty smooth even without that 120 Hertz. Now I do really like the true tone feature. It's been on iPhone since like the iPhone 8, but definitely still like it here. It really does help your eyes feel a little bit more comfortable when it goes, you know, dark and you know things are getting a little bit late you know de definitely the screen could be too bright it could be a little bit annoying on the eye so i definitely look like the true tone feature and dark mode on these oled displays always looks fantastic they got the dynamic wallpapers here that come with the iphone 12 pro so that's very nice and night shift of course we have to have that Let's take it over here to youtube you can see you could definitely enjoy your favorite youtube channels no problem here and really have a good experience watching video on the 12 pro and two months later, I found myself really liking this size. I think at 6.1 inches, Apple did a good job at upgrading that size over the 11 Pro. For some, that might've been the perfect sweet spot, the, you know, the 5.8 inch. But if we talk about, you know, video watching, for this price point, you are getting more screen size to play with here with the iPhone 12 Pro. So two months later, I've been enjoying a little bit of an increase in size. Now talking about the operating system, I mean, it's real. It's like we've been talking about this for months already, the iOS 14. What I really like about the 12 Pro is that you're getting this boss hardware and you're getting long software support. I mean, yeah, we do have iOS 14 with the widgets, the app library. You know, it's been getting updated over and over again, improving on all these little bugs it had at first. And uh, it's pretty rock solid right now, just like the phone feels rock solid. So everything around here just feels refined. It feels polished and it feels ready to use for a very long time. I mean, of course, as more iOS updates do come out, you might get some bugs that will have to be rectified in future updates after that. But right now on 14.3, you can see why it's been here for a while because it's been pretty stable to be quite fair with you. So two months later, 
the iPhone 12 Pro actually runs a little bit better than when it first came out. Okay guys, so let's talk about performance here with the 12 Pro. We do have a five nanometer chip set. Apple was like the first to put this on a phone and make it mainstream. So definitely faster than some of your laptops from before. And you might be saying, well, what am I gonna do with that? It's not a laptop. Well, actually, if you made this use be your only computing device, you could actually do video editing. You could actually upload to YouTube. You could actually do a lot of stuff on a phone if you wanna make that a challenge for yourself because this phone definitely has enough power to do so. I'm not saying go ahead and do that, but what I am saying is that you know, if you decided or you just said, this is the only computing device I have, the five nanometer chipset in here will blow away most laptops in speed. So iPhone 12 Pro, monster performance. Two months later, another thing I wanna point out that I really like about the 12 Pro is the storage. I mean, this phone came with 128 gigabytes of storage really like that because you know you can do some 4k video you can do you know some 4k 60 some hdr video and you're not going to run out of storage super fast you can put all your applications on here and that's more like it for this price point at 9.99 definitely you're going to want more storage so i'm happy apple upgraded that from 64 gigs okay guys and discussing the cameras after two months later it's really what you expect you know you got the telephoto zoom if you go in, you can go in 10X. Unlike the iPhone 12 Pro Max, you can go a little bit further than that. You can go ultra wide at 0.5X. You can take a photo. Always turns out very nicely here for the phone. And also the selfies do turn out quite well as well. So you can get a really good overall selfie quality photo here just because it matches up very nicely with that front camera over here. So definitely matches up very well. And if we go over here to video, you'll see that we can tweak out the video to 4K24, and you also have HDR video on here, which is pretty fantastic. You got your slow motion, you got your time lapse. If we go over here, you got your portrait, which also does better on blurring out people from the background. So I found that this had less of a problem with nailing the blur in images. You do have to back it out perfectly to get that blur, but I noticed it just does better job at that. So Apple just improving and refining on what the 11 Pro was already great at and uh, best camera ever for sure on the iPhone 12 Pro. So really did enjoy it. And the night mode is fantastic as well. I think you'll be happy if you decide to pick one of these up. This is gonna be one of the best cameras in the world in your pocket. And let's talk about audio really quickly because audio is also pretty nice. It's just got a really full, clear sound at the high and lows. It's often overlooked, but some phones, they'll just sound tinny when you crank them all the way up to the top volume. Not here for the 12 Pro. So definitely the audio coming out the bottom and the top over here sounds pretty fantastic. Of course, the bottom's gonna be definitely a little bit louder, but very happy with the overall quality we get here. But what has battery life been like? Was it worth it getting this phone? Is the battery life any good? And the answer to that question is yes, it's actually pretty darn good. Even at 2815, I found this phone easily able to get through the day. Now, I don't think it's as good as the 11 Pro for some reason, I just feel like it was a little bit lower at the end of my day, but I didn't have really major issues with getting through a normal day. So I think most people will get through a normal day, but this doesn't impress like the 12 Pro Max, which is able to stretch into two days. So definitely the 12 Pro Max is the option if you want even better battery life. And Face ID hasn't seen major improvements either. I feel like it's basically the same as what we had for the 11 Pro. I don't see it doing any better in that respect. The last thing I wanna talk about is the phone call quality because this is an area where this phone has seen major improvements. I really like how well the signal strength is, how good the mobile performance is, and the phone call quality just overall better, definitely better than the 11 series. This is actually an update you don't even think about, but when you actually get the phone, if you've used the 11 when you're out and about, definitely had worse signal strength than this one. So major win here for the iPhone 12 Pro. So after two months later, you can see I'm very happy with this experience here. The Pacific Blue, I'm not sure I'm feeling this color so much. I think the green was a little bit better than this color, um, but the Pacific Blue is gonna be the color many people want just because it's the marketed color. But definitely I do like the graphite color as well as the other colors like the gold and the silver. But this one, pretty nice as well. Kind of reminds me of some blue jeans. But yeah, the 12 Pro after two months has definitely been an excellent option. Definitely worth the purchase. But I do think you should only get this phone if you're going to be really taking advantage 
of the cameras. Like you really want to do some professional video and photography because I think the 12 offers most of what this offers uh, besides that extra lens. So other than that, you just got to want the most premium iPhone in the 6.1 inch size to get this because if you don't need all of that extra stuff, I do think the 12 is a much better value than this one. So let me know your thoughts down below in the comments section of this video. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Nick here helping you to master your technology. Be sure to be well and peace. Thank you.